Welcome to the New Song Cafe at worshiptogether.com. Today we're here with Tim Hughes, who will be sharing his song, At Your Name. So sit back and enjoy this New Song Cafe. Tim, good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. It's good to catch some time with you in your crazy busy schedule here at the National Worship Leader Conference. Yeah. You've been going all day, man, and so... Uh, uh, but this is the highlight. This is what I was building up to. Oh, man. Some time with yeah, you, Jimmy. That, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> man, we're going to look at a song today. I love this song. Uh, it's called At Your Name. Yeah. And written with uh, Phil Wickham. Yeah. He's a great worship leader, uh -huh. artist. Um, talk about you guys, other sides of the pond. How did you guys actually get together and yeah, work well, on this? We, uh, I, I run a thing called Worship Central. We're training worship leaders, and we do a conference in London. And uh, last year, he flew out. Uh, to, to lead some worship and um, him and Mallory came, his wife came and st stayed with us and we were hanging out and having a great time. So we spent a bit of time writing and uh, I had a couple of ideas and he, he did and, and uh, this is one of them that kind of came about. I had this, this chorus and then um, he sort of came up with some f fantastic mm -hmm. verses and then we sort of over email once he'd gone sort of developed some of it and finished off a bridge and so it was, it was great. It was really fun working with him and Man, he's he's amazing. His wow. singing and what he does. So. And you guys, this is on your record. It's on the yeah. new Worship Central record coming yeah. out. And then Phil has got it on his record as well. He so has. There's multiple versions to choose okay. from. Take your pick. <laughs> well, man, play it for us. Okay. Can you hear it? At your name, the mountains shake and crumble. At your name. The oceans roar and tumble At your name Angels will bow The earth will rejoice Your people cry Yeah, I love in this song the um, you know using Yahweh, the name yeah. of God, and that you don't, we don't hear that a lot no. in worship songs. And um, talk a little bit about just that kind of that choice. Was that something you, you guys consciously came up with, or was this something that was just on your mind when you were writing? Yeah, well, I, I think when I'm writing, uh, one of the things I, I try to be careful of is overanalyzing in the moment. I think actually the best thing is I always think when you're writing, the value of expression is so important, mm. and so just to write what feels good you know then afterwards you can evaluate and so that just kind of felt like the right thing to sing and, and uh, it's definitely using your way of something we, we thought and talked about and I sort of threw it past a few theologians because actually you know um, Yahweh you know this um, the unspeakable name of God you know yeah. in the Old Testament you know for, for Jewish culture just uh, this awesome other kind of almost this God who's so uh, to be feared and re revered mm -hmm. and so it's not a phrase that we often see in our, our songs today but actually um, we now know Yahweh is revealed in the person of Jesus Christ so our worship is centered around Jesus so that was why for us in the bridge we're really keen to kind of climax the bridge with Jesus is our God right. we will sing and actually there's a great power and truth that this unbelievably kind of huge scary uh, God that was to be feared is now revealed in the person of Jesus mm. and we have access to this God through the person of Jesus and you know God took on flesh and bone so it, for me it actually becomes quite a powerful thing and you know I looked and thought do we put another names other phrases instead of Yahweh but it just 
do you know what the more I, I came back to it just felt great you know mm. when you're talking about god of all creation yahweh yahweh it's just it feels quite a powerful yeah it is powerful phrase yeah well man walk us through what you're playing here you're yep. capoed up on the second fret yeah playing in the g so it's key of a and uh just very sort of G. Your name is Mount Zaken, crumble C. And then sometimes I'm, I might just put in this kind of little. Yeah. To keep the movement. The oceans roll and tumble. It's your name. So this basically like it's just playing a D. Yeah. Just but what C. I do is like the C shape with the pinky on, the, but slide it up two frets. Mm -hmm. Your name. Just quite intriguing mm -hmm. chord. Angels will bow, E minor. The earth will rejoice, G. The people cry out. Back to that D. And then the chorus is just G. Lord of all the earth will shout your name. E minor. Filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise. That D. Yahweh, Yahweh. See, we love to shout your name, oh Lord. And then uh, in the version I do, um, which is obviously the definitive version. <laughs> yeah, that's um, right. <laughs> uh, we have like this little turnaround, which is it's like an A minor, E, e minor. But the way I play is uh, Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, oh Lord G. And then you just put the um, trying to explain yeah. this. I hope you can see it. So it's on the the D string, uh, fourth fret. Yeah. Um, then the E minor. Back into the verse. Just yeah. again, it's, it's keeping the movement going in sure. between the different sections. Yeah. So, uh, and then the bridge is just um, again that D. No one like our God, we will. E minor, C. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's pretty simple. Yeah, man, great song. Thank you. Thanks for coming by and sharing it with us. Thanks.